Readings for the day, 2022, on Monday, October 10th. The readings from the regular cycle. The Epistle, Monday of the 18th week. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Brethren, putting away falsehood, let everyone speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his hands, so that he may be able to give to those in need. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only such as good for edifying, as fits the occasion that it may impart grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, in whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. The Gospel, Monday of the fourth week of Luke. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at table, and behold, a woman of the city who was a sinner, when she learned that he was at table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment, and standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair, with the hair of her head, and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw it, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he answered, What is it, teacher? A certain creditor had two debtors, one one owed five hundred denarii and the other fifty. When they could, when they could not pay, he forgave both of them. Now, which of them will love him more? Simon answered, "The one, I suppose, to whom he forgave more." And he said to him, "You have judged rightly." Then, turning toward the woman who said to Simon. Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her. Uh. Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, no, you gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, <clears throat> but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much, but he who is forgiven little loves little. And he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. Then those who were at table with him began to say among themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The readings for the commemoration. The epistle for the martyrs. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans. Brethren, we know that in everything God works for good with those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, 
he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And those whom he predestined he also called, and those whom he called he also justified, and those whom he justified he also glorified. What then shall we say to this? If God is for us, who is against us? He who does, <sighs> he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, will he not also give us all things with him? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Jesus Christ who died. Yes, who was raised from the dead, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us, who shall separate us from the love of Christ, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are called, or for thy sake we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synaxarion. Synaxarion from the Manion. On October 10th we commemorate the holy martyrs Elampius and Elampia. On this day we commemorate the 200 holy martyrs who were killed along with Saint Elampius. On this day we commemorate our devout father Bassianus. On this day we commemorate the devout father Theophilus, the confessor. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Fasting rule is fast free. All foods allowed. Happy Monday, y'all.